Seemingly out of nowhere, the YouTube channel that you probably know about called Did You Know Gaming just dropped a 1 hour and 13 minute documentary on Crash Bandicoot, specifically a sort of behind the scenes of what Crash 5 was supposed to be. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that the entire project of Crash 5 was at one point supposed to be an entire crossover game between Crash and Spyro the Dragon. I mean, we've heard like a million fan concepts about something like this happening. We've even had a couple Game Boy Advance games that were released 20 years ago that were based on kind of this concept, but I'm talking like a full-fledged crossover game, so it is crazy to now for the first time realize that this was actually at one point a legitimately planned concept for a game. Okay, so this is all coming from a man named Liam Robertson. He is a video game documentarian, and according to his Reddit post, he's been working on this documentary for years now. He's been having years years of conversations with employees of Toys for Bob and Activision. Now this documentary was just released on the Did You Know YouTube channel yesterday. It hasn't really taken off yet in terms of views, but man, I think it should because of everything that is revealed. Now he talks about a lot of different things with Crash and Activision and Toys for Bob, like he talks about Skylanders, he talks about the inevitable demise of Crash Team Rumble, and he talked about kind of the late 2010s when the Spyro Reignited trilogy and the Crash trilogy were being released as well as Crash 4. But the main juicy stuff to me and what I think a lot of people are talking about with this documentary is where he talks about Crash Bandicoot 5. Now we heard about this about a month ago, I actually made a video on this, that there was supposedly a Crash 5 project that was eventually cancelled. Now we've heard this has been cancelled for a number of different reasons. Some say that Activision had more plans to focus on live service games and others were simply because Toys for Bob was too busy working on Call of Duty War zone, but kind of all we have known up to this point now is that Crash 5 was a project and it is now cancelled. But this video sheds light on this big time and it talks about the, yeah, the, the crossover that was to be with Spyro. Okay, so if you watch this video, so it's a whole hour and 13 minute video, from about the 25 minute marker to the 30 minute marker, Liam talks about Crash 5. Now from everything that I have gathered, basically this was in the works and it was planned out and it was kind of just in the initial stage in terms of concept art, but I guess there were like some early, early like concept builds of some of the levels in this game, but mainly it was just ideas and concept art. Now this Crash Spyro crossover for Crash 5 was being planned out for a few months during the later part of 2020. Essentially what they had planned for Crash 5 was that uh, Uka Uka, this is like the, the main evil guy that's like the mask guy in Crash Bandicoot. Okay, not the main evil guy, the, the main evil guy is Dr. Cortez. But you know what I'm talking about. He's like the bad guy that's the mask guy. So he was going to be the main antagonist of Crash 5 and essentially how the story was supposed to go was that he was going to build some sort of portal that brought him to Spyro's world. He was going to corrupt all of the Elder Dragons, you remember them from Spyro games, essentially make them evil and then Crash was going to teleport to Spyro's world. And essentially throughout the whole game you were going to have the obvious two main protagonists, Crash and Spyro, they were going to travel together to these old Spyro landscapes from previous games that have now, you know, been corrupted. And I mean, I'm sure you can figure out the rest, you know, fight the bad guys, etc. And it sounds like there was supposed to be a mix of like Crash and Spyro antagonists throughout this game. Now the really cool part, the thing that really stuck out to me, was that at one point Liam basically said that this game was not supposed to be a sort of like 2D or 2.5D linear type of game like a regular Crash game. No, this was supposed to be more of a 3D adventure. And they were even experimenting with a type of play style where you play as Spyro and Crash together at the same time where they say that Spyro would actually like enhance both of their jumping abilities with his wings and now that to me 100% sounds like Banjo-Kazooie and I love that I think that makes so much sense and they were even experimenting with the idea that at certain parts Crash and Spyro could separate to do various tasks that only required just one of them which reminds me of Banjo-Tooie you know how Banjo and Kazooie would split up in that game I just oh my god I love 3D platformers. I, I love Banjo-Kazooie. I'm a huge sucker for anything that's 3D platforming. So to think that this is something that we were going to get at one point, or at least something that was uh, very heavily in the plans, like a full-fledged 3D platforming Spyro and Crash game where you could control them at the same time and separately, I just think that sounds fantastic. Now, like I said, it would seem that at some point Activision decided against this project and ultimately the project was canceled. I want to just mention though, 
that Toys for Bob, I think we all know at this point, they separated themselves from Activision at the start of this year. They are now their uh, own company, but they have made it very clear, and in fact, they've even announced that they're going to be working closely with Activision on some project in the very near future. They have teased this. A lot of people have been theorizing that uh, either this is some sort of Spyro game or a Crash game, since Xbox and Activision, they're all under the same umbrella now. And obviously, Toys for Bob, I mean, they did great with Spyro and Crash, so this would make sense. Now, up to this point, I think we've all kind of theorized that it's, it's either one or the other. This is either going to be Toys for Bob working on Spyro 4 or Toys for Bob working on Crash 5. But this now tells me that maybe it could be both. Maybe what we are getting, you know, this project that is now in the early works with Toys for Bob and Activision, maybe this is the Crash 5 that we were going to get that ended up getting canceled. The actual Spyro and Crash crossover. If that is actually the case, I cannot wait, especially if it's going to be, like I said, something like Banjo-Kazooie, but obviously with the charm of Spyro and Crash. I just think that sounds fantastic. I think the sales for that game would be tremendous. It's a shame that this project was canceled, but you gotta be optimistic. I could see them reviving it.